The transformation of the American male physique from the fit, trim bodies of the 1940s to the obesity epidemic we witness today reflects a complex interplay of multiple factors. In the mid-20th century, the majority of American men boasted healthier body compositions. However, recent statistics illustrate a concerning shift. As of 2020, over 70% of American men aged 20 and above are classified as overweight or obese. To understand this trend, we need to explore post-war societal and economic changes. We also need to analyze the rise of convenience foods and early dietary guidelines. Furthermore, it's important to review the role of sugar in our food and the effects of Federal Drug Administration regulation. Finally, we must consider the impact of a sedentary lifestyle driven by technology and increased individualism. World War II's end marked the start of a prosperous era in the U.S., known as the Golden Age of Capitalism. This period saw American families gaining wealth and buying more and varied food. As wealth grew, so did the demand for convenience and luxury. This demand transformed the food industry and changed American diets. The increase in wealth and a desire for privacy also led to a shift from communal living in urban settings to suburban neighborhoods, fostering an environment of increased individualism. This shift meant a heavier reliance on automobiles for commuting, further reducing physical activity and contributing to a more sedentary lifestyle. By the 1950s, the convenience food revolution was in full swing. Frozen dinners, instant mixes, and canned goods had become staples in American homes. These foods promised not only affordability but also time-saving benefits to families juggling work and leisure. The downside of this revolution was that these convenience foods were often loaded with unhealthy fats, high in sodium, and lacked nutrient density. Simultaneously, the emergence of the food pyramid in the 1970s set the stage for national dietary guidelines. However, these early versions were not without their pitfalls. Influenced heavily by the meat and dairy industries, these guidelines promoted high consumption of animal products while minimizing the importance of fruits and vegetables. This led to a national diet high in fats and low in fiber, setting the stage for future health problems. Sugar, too, found its way into the American diet as a prevalent additive from the mid-20th century onwards. Sugar was added to everything from sodas to cereals, capitalizing on its addictive sweetness to enhance the palatability of foods. This marked increase in sugar consumption significantly escalated caloric intake without offering substantial nutritional benefits. The role of the Federal Drug Administration, the regulatory body meant to safeguard public health, also comes into focus in this narrative. Accusations of corruption and undue influence from the food industry have marred the agency's reputation. Critics argue that the agency has failed to effectively regulate harmful ingredients and curb misleading advertising, exacerbating the decline in the American population's health. Our examination of the changing male physique must also consider the societal expectations of men in the post-war era. The societal pressure on men to serve as the primary providers created an environment of stress and pressure. This focus on financial success often led men to neglect their physical and mental health, contributing to detrimental health behaviors such as poor dietary habits and sedentary lifestyle, both of which are associated with weight gain. The impact of economic transformations over the past decades is another piece of this complex puzzle. Mid-20th century America was characterized by a strong middle class, which has slowly been hollowed out as American society transitions from an industrial economy to a knowledge economy, resulting in an increasingly stratified society. This economic divide has led to health disparities, including weight issues, between the rich and the poor. People with lower incomes often struggle to access nutritious food and safe exercise spots. This leads to reliance on cheap, unhealthy food, contributing to obesity. On the other hand, wealthy people, despite having resources, also face obesity. This is due to high-stress jobs, long working hours, and societal pressures that lead to unhealthy habits like overeating and a lack of physical activity. The late 20th century tech revolution worsened obesity trends. The rise of digital technology changed our lifestyles and jobs, causing a drop in physical activity. More jobs moved to computers, and screen-based leisure activities became popular. 
These changes, combined with dietary issues, led to an energy imbalance causing weight gain and obesity. Suburban living, while presenting its own set of luxuries and comforts, also contributed to this trend. With amenities spread out, the reliance on automobiles increased, discouraging walking or cycling as means of transport. The layout of the suburbs also reduced the frequency of incidental exercise, such as climbing stairs in apartment buildings or walking to nearby stores or work, further contributing to a sedentary lifestyle. The transition from a physically active, community-based society to one marked by convenience foods, increased individualism, suburban living, and technology-driven lifestyles has played a significant role in the escalating rates of obesity among American men. As we move forward, it's crucial to reevaluate these elements of our society and lifestyle, identifying potential avenues for promoting health and reversing this troubling trend. What are your thoughts on these changes in American society? Can you think of other contributing factors? Thanks for watching. Looking for some pom pom, pom 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 pom. Big wig in the wigwam, looking for a rainstorm. Boom boom boom, boom boom boom, boom boom boom. Keep on praying, keep on playing. Oh, big wig in the wigwam, looking for some pom pom, boom 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 boom.
big wig in the wigwam, looking for some pom pom. Bom 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 bom. Big wig in the wigwam, looking for a rainstorm. Bom 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 bom. Keep on praying. Keep on playing. Oh, big wig in the wigwam. Looking for some pom pom, boom 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 boom. Looking for some pom pom, pom 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 pom. Big wig in the wigwam, looking for a rainstorm. Boom boom boom, boom boom boom, boom boom boom. Keep on praying, keep on playing. Oh, big wig in the wigwam, looking for some pom pom. Boom boom boom, boom 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 boom.
Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this. Thank <laughs> you.